How, how many planets are there in the universe? We're going to come up with a uh, rough number for the number of planets in the universe. So to do that, we start out by saying how many galaxies there are in the universe. And there's roughly 100 billion galaxies. So 100 billion galaxies. A billion is 10 to the ninth. 100 billion would be 10 to the 11th. So there's 10 to the 11th galaxies in the universe. Next number we need is how many stars are there in the universe? Well, there's roughly 100 billion stars in the universe. 100 billion, how, we want to ask how many stars are there in the galaxy? And there's roughly 100 billion stars in the galaxy. So we would have 10 to the 11th, again, stars per galaxy. And now we need to say roughly how many planets there are per star. And if you look back at the series Cosmos, in one of the episodes, I think it was episode 12, Carl Sagan talks about the Drake equation. And when he's talking about that Drake equation, he too needs a number of planets per star. And what he said, he said, assume, he said something like this, assume every star has 10 planets just as our sun does. Or, or something to that effect, 10 planets. So he was counting Pluto and Ceres. So we'll use 10 planets. It's interesting, this is now May uh, 27th, 2015. The Dawn spacecraft has just arrived at Ceres. And this summer, in July of 2015, the New Horizons spacecraft will be at Pluto. Just a side note. So we have 10 to the 11th galaxies in the universe, 10 to the 11th stars in each galaxy, and we're going to say 10 planets per each star. Did I say 10 to the 11th stars per galaxy? Yeah. So if we work this out, we would find that we have 10 to the 23 planets in the universe. Uh, another number I have seen for the number of galaxies has increased it by a factor of five. So if we bring in that factor of five, so instead of a uh, hundred billion galaxies, there are 500 billion. then what we would have would be 5 times 10 to the 23rd planets in the universe. So that's a rough estimate. Ten, 5 times 10 to the 23rd planets per universe. What is really interesting about that number is it's very close to Avogadro's number. So we have Avogadro's number.
the Avogadro number, which is 6.02, roughly, times 10 to the 23rd. And that would be atoms per mole or molecules per mole. or particles per mole. So it's kind of interesting that there's a number we're familiar with, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and it's very close to the 5 times 10 to the 23rd that we estimated here. And we could easily adjust some of these numbers to actually bring it up to 6 times 10 to the 23rd. But anyhow, knowing that uh, Avogadro's number, that's an easy way to remember how many planets there might actually be in the universe. So, is there actually some sort of magical connection here? No. This is just a simple coincidence. So, that's the story on the number of planets in the universe. Again, it's a rough estimate. And I imagine that numbers will change as time goes on if you work this estimate out sometime in the future. But it is interesting that it, the number comes out very close to Avogadro's number. And so, again, Avogadro's number is a nice way which almost everybody knows this is a nice way to remember how many planets there are in the universe or how many planets there might be in the universe.